while crossing Oneida Lake, we took a little time, had some fun, and made some B-roll. Traveling throughout the country, we never really know what we're going to find when we arrive at a marina. When looking for a marina, we have a checklist we go through. Some of our necessities are 50 amp service, laundry, water, fuel, pump out, groceries, and clean bathrooms. Winter Harbor Marina, located on the Oneida River in Brewerton, New York, did not disappoint. They had everything on our list in addition to a courtesy car and beautiful sunsets. One of the customs of the Great Loopers is to gather together and share stories of their journeys. Everyone made an appetizer to share and brought their own beverages to a wonderful evening of fellowship. In our travels, the last thing we expected to find was a boat belonging to friends of ours from Sturgeon Bay. Yeah, morning. Uh, are you ready? I was born ready. You don't look ready. You don't look ready. Good grief. It's time to go. Oswego Canal, here we come. Opened in 1828, it is 23.7 miles in length and connects the Erie Canal at Three Rivers to Lake Ontario at Oswego. The canal has a depth of 14 feet with seven locks spanning the 118 foot change in elevation. Thank you to Lockmaster Metz in lock number two on the Oswego in Fulton, New York. He posts a recap every day of the progress through the lock, including the weather, water depth, and number of boats traveling north and south, along with a sequence of photographs for each boat. Nearing the last three locks on the Oswego, our excitement level increases as we get a little closer to home in the anticipation of venturing out on yet another of the Great Lakes, Lake Ontario. A shout out to the Lockmasters for the gradual and seamless transitions we have experienced on both the Erie and Oswego canals. The last three locks are within a half mile of each other prior to our final destination of this leg of the trip, Oswego, New York. We push past this free wall to navigate through the last lock to stay on La Perella's dock for our final lock celebration. How fun! How long is that boat? How long? 50. 50? Yep. We did the loop from Wisconsin to Florida and now we're going back. While enjoying our evening, Steve obliged these young men's request for a photo op. All right, thank you so much for sticking around and watching the whole video so that you can see the little banter between us. <laughs> we got to have fun with that with the birds. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, <laughs> rather than cleaning up the stuff that they leave behind. Right? Yeah, every day those birds are sitting on our rail. They love our rail and they take their little baths yeah. and do their little business. And then we got to clean that off the boat. Yeah, I just couldn't believe they didn't fly away. <laughs> they were like right outside the window and I'm like, I'm videotaping that. Well, they can't see in the window, right. that's why. Yeah. So. So. Anyway. So uh, we did make a comment on there that it was our last lock, and it was our last lock, although there are more locks right. in our journey. So you're going to have to watch the next video to find out what yeah. that means. Those locks cost me two grand, by the way. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You'll see that in the next one. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so what would you like about the trip? Like this part of the trip, what was your favorite part? Well, Winter Harbor was really a nice, um, nice marina, a lot of great amenities as we as we mentioned, and just um, hanging out with the people that do the loop and finding out. We actually went around kind of in a circle and talked about why did you decide to do the loop, what kind of boat are you on, you know, um, and got to learn a lot of really neat stories about other people and what they've gone through and why they're doing it and a lot similar to ours yeah. well you we know, didn't life uh, changing yeah life changing something you know monumental happened in their life like ours and mm -hmm. we just decided to uh, unplug but i will say that we don't have a lot of time to uh, do the dock tail kind of thing we're usually moving on the weekends when everybody's kind of like getting together and so that's one of the first times that we actually got to sit on the dock with some of the uh, loopers and share some stories so mm -hmm. it was nice yeah, yeah. it was all right, so we hope you enjoyed this video and make sure that you like and subscribe to get notifications of the next one. Yeah, and we're doing shorts. Oh, we're doing shorts. So shorts. 
Gotta look at those. Whatever. Yeah, we heard about the shorts. <laughs> that would give it a try. It was amazing. <laughs> I will say her first one, what was it like? Oh, like 4,500. 5,000 views. Like 10 minutes 10 or something. Minutes. It was crazy. And it was stupid. It was just like, hey, here we are on the back of reading the book. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, anyway, liked it. who knew? Anyway, <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. All right. See you next week.